Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do what's in my travel bag. I love seeing these videos. I really love to know what people carry in their travel bags and that's why I'm doing this. I hope you like it and let's get started. First of all, I used two bags just because I haven't enough room just in one so in the first one I carry the things that doesn't don't fit in my main bag and these are the things that um, don't fit first uh, I have this sun cream then a um, teeth brush my toothpaste then this um, Johnson's Baby oil this um, deodorant from Sonics then I have this dry shampoo from Smartscope and a um, brush that's a travel size brush and then this is my main bag which is huge this is from the smarts and this was from a women's secret collection i think the um, last summer I don't, I don't know and this is what it looks like it's so pretty i really like how um, i can put a lot of things inside of it and it's so cute, I don't know. First I have this um, bag with, yes it's a bag. Actually you can unzip this and then you have a bag which I use for the beach, as a beach bag and you can really use it as whatever you want but I use it for that. And my boyfriend gave me this bag as a present. Then I have another bag inside, of course. And this is the same one, it matches the main bag. This is also from the Smarts and also from Women's Secret. And you have this so you can hold it like this. I'm not sure. And if you open it, I have first of all this um, um, cream, this moisturizer. This is for the morning. Then I have this moisturizer for the night. Then I have this tea tree oil, which I use it also for the pimples. Just because this dries so well down that it's a must for me. And then I have this lip balm, which I really like using it for the night. Because it doesn't have sun protection, SPF, so for the night that's great. <laughs> Then I have some contact lenses because, yeah, without them I'm blind and if I really want to see um, something in HD, I have to wear them, so yeah. Have a few pairs of them and then an elastic, also a mask. Into to these few pairs that are in, inside of a bag. First, I have this um, face wash which I had to buy there, in the place where I go to, where I go on vacation. And this is the Juliette Crow face wash. I think this is how it is pronounced. And this is from a supermarket called Massimas. I think it's a very popular um, chain there in 
the Mediterranean Sea, I don't know. And I think this makes um, your face feel so clean and, and fresh. I know, I really like it and this is for all the skin types, so mm, great. And it was almost 4 euros. Then I have this micellar lotion, micellar lotion, and I use it after the face wash just to remove any rest of makeup and to um, go with it. I use these cotton pads. Yeah. And I carry just a few so that I haven't that much weight in my bag. And last I have this bag which is also from a um, women's secret. I really like their bags. I think they're very useful because they're um transparent and you can see through them and this way you can find your makeup better obviously and I'm going to show you just my um, travel chances which aren't that much but I have quite a few and I haven't used them all just because um, sometimes I feel very lazy when I'm out of home and you know I really like to to put the minimum makeup amount on my face. First I have this hair band to put my hair out of my face. Then this sun cream or makeup which is a, a cream with color and this has SPF 50 which is a must for me. Then I have this powder foundation by Kiko. This is in the shade 02. One of the lightest ones and this is what it looks like. It's so worn out and then it has this little sponge to apply it. Then I have this still out the double wear concealer. I use it for my under eyes. And I usually use a combination of two mascaras and if I'm that day feeling lazy, I use just one of them. Uh, first I have this Clinique High Impact Mascara. Both are black and then this Kiko Luxurious Lashes Extra Volume Brush Mascara. Obviously, I need my eyelash color. And what else? I have here my bronzer because I really like to put color on my face. <laughs> Just the um, Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade. One natural, and I have this angle brush to apply some eyeshadow as a um, eyeliner in the upper lashes. Then I have this eye pencil in shade 807. This is from the Smart Line collection, I think. Smart eye pencil. And I really like it. Then I have this eyeshadow brush. This is a very flat and small brush. Then I have this eyeshadow, this white and a little bit shimmer eyeshadow. I really like how natural it looks. Then I have this spoolie brush. This is from Kiko. I really think this is a must for everyone just to calm your eyebrows and to give them some shape. I think this is perfect. And this is the brush number 205 face. 
I have also this Kiko lipstick. I have a lot of Kiko lip products or products in general. This is the Glossy Something lipstick. This is shade 806. And it has SPF 15, I believe, and that's great if you are wearing this as a base in daily basis. This is the color, it's a very pretty coral color and it looks very natural and it has just a little bit of glow but it is quite natural I have also this Kiko Casual Call Pencil in 101 and it's just white for the in a corner to just illuminate my eyes and in general my face then here is my um, tool thing, whatever, from Sephora. This is to separate your lashes. And this is supposed to be here while you're applying mascara just to, to put your eyelashes as high as you can and then to comb them or something. I don't know, it works. It works and it's about... Five euros, I think. Uh, here is my travel palette, eyeshadow palette for a very hot place. And this is from Kiko. Sorry, it is a quite reflecting palette. And this was a limited edition. This is a color party palette, wet and dry a shadow in 05 Holy Vibrations. And I just used the um, lightest and more neutral colors, which are these three. But the other ones are very pretty. I just think they don't fit well with my features. I don't know. I'm quite strange with the colors I use. Then I have this uh, face brush by O. This is the number 20. I almost forget to, to show this. This is my Eye Studio Lost in Drama Gel Liner in black. This is by Maybelline. And this is just a gel liner which is quite dry, as you can see. But if you need a gel liner just for the um, upper water line, you can use it. But yeah, I really prefer using um, whole pencil to draw my upper water line. And last, I have this Too Faced eyeshadow primer, this is the shadow insurance and I have this I think like I don't know, I, I have had it since 2010 or 11? I don't know, a lot and finally I have some Babic pens which are very useful for me because I have long hair and that bothers me a lot and that's very helpful. So my video is over and I just hope you have enjoyed watching it and if you did give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, it will be great to to have more more people following or you know being subscribed and also subscribe because it's free and I will be uploading videos just every week although I have exams but I'm going to leave some videos recorded already to upload it upload them and while I'm doing the exams and studying and that's all for now, and bye!